It's time for Around the Ozarks News, brought to you by the Springfield Green County Park Board, Roto-Rooter Plumbing and Drain Service, Blue Current, and Thompson Sales. Here are your hosts, Ethan and Sarah Foreheads. Hey, good morning to you on Monday. Hope you had a fantastic weekend, a long weekend for many of us, so it was uh, enjoyable. I know we enjoyed ours. Hope you enjoyed yours, but uh, here we are, back to start. Back at it. Yeah. Back at it. Uh, all eyes are on the Texas coastline this morning as what is right now Tropical Storm Barrel, although it is bordering on hurricane status again. So we shall see. It has already hit Texas with some heavy rain and high winds. The greater Houston area, uh, really south of Houston, spent the weekend boarding up windows and in some cases heading out of town for evacuation orders that are underway in some parts. Lives have been lost in that storm already in Mexico and the Caribbean. Forecasters are expecting Beryl to regain strength in the Gulf of Mexico before making landfall this morning, like as we speak. Um, the latest track had it hitting the small town of Matagorda, which is 100 miles south of Houston. But again, that could change, but it doesn't look great. Doesn't look great for Texas, uh, at least right now. Uh, we do know that some folks from the Show Me State are helping our neighbors in need with hurricane relief. Missouri Task Force One dis- deployed about 40 people from their search and rescue team to Texas doing uh, primarily water rescues. Uh, Convoy of Hope is also sending some supplies to the area uh, as needed if people lose power and then might not have access to the basic needs, food, water, um, everything life sustaining. Yeah. Convoy of hope is, uh, ha- we've been in, in contact with, with partners down there, uh, and are, are prepared to send uh, essential relief supplies as needed. I think flooding is going to be the big issue. And, and man, Houston has been hit this year by flooding. Uh, convoy has already been there, uh, for, uh, many days, of uh, f- uh, helping people with flooding, following the flooding earlier in the spring, uh, there was a derecho that hit there, which is straight Eey. line winds that were very, very strong. We were there for that. We've already given out, I believe it's a million pounds of supply uh, in the Texas area uh, following the stuff that happened this spring. So now we're prepared to go down again uh, with our partners down there to uh, to help out as we've received word about what exactly they need. Uh, and of course, Convoy has been working all weekend long since Friday, I, I believe, uh, well, we started earlier than that Thursday, I think, in the Caribbean, uh, responding there, helping with things like uh, relief supplies, water, food, tarps for people, uh, just a very difficult situation. So we have several team members on different islands down in the Caribbean and uh, looks like we'll add Texas again to the list later today. Mm-hmm. Stay tuned. Uh, Back here in our neck of the woods, an eventful uh, afternoon for Springfield police and Greene County deputies yesterday. They were trying to stop a man who was, uh, they thought, impaired while he was driving. Officers chased a guy on Kansas Expressway near Norton Road, speeds reaching 65 miles per hour as he wouldn't pull over. Uh, Deputies were able to finally stop him at Kansas and Sunshine, and they took him into custody. Fortunately, no one was hurt. Hmm. Because when that ha- when that sort of thing is happening anytime really, but especially during the day, uh, a lot of a lot of people are in jeopardy. Dangerous things can happen. Uh, we already know the month of July is moving quickly, uh, and we're looking ahead to the August primary, which is uh, coming, and we'll be here before we know it. Yeah, August- it's less than a month actually. No, about- it's crazy. It's crazy. August sixth, right? That's the date. Yep, that's the date, August 6th. Yeah. Uh, I think the election's been on minds of a lot of people since the uh, debate took place and all of the conversations that are now taking place in the wake of the debate. At any rate, voters will decide on a host of issues and offices statewide and locally to see who each party's nominee uh, for the general election will be when that comes up in November. So this coming Wednesday, July 10th, this Wednesday is the last day to register to vote if you haven't and would like to. All right. It is an exciting day for Mercy Hospital. Leaders there opening a new multi-specialty clinic and its first primary care clinic in Northeast Springfield. The Frisco building is going to be having primary care, occupational medicine, and therapy. The ribbon cutting is at 10 o'clock this morning. So. I mean, there, those things are popping up everywhere. You can find a care clinic, it seems, wherever you might live. So that's yeah, good. There are a lot of them, that's for sure. 
A uh, drug to help slow Alzheimer's disease got approval from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. We told you about that a while back because some patients in Bolivar actually helped in the clinical trials for that to make sure it was effective or to find out how effective it was. Those patients over at Citizens Memorial Hospital showed improvements in their mental function, which shows that the drug works, at least uh, for some folks. Uh, the drug... <laughs> Denana, Denanamab. I'm trying to remember how to say it. It's all those drug names. I don't know who comes I up. I thought it was Donanamab. Uh, but you're right. You, I think you maybe nailed it the first time. D-O-N-A-N-E-M-A-B. Yeah. It's for wherever any you want to put For any of you medical the, people out there and you really wanted to know the name of it. There you well, go. Well, it's it's the uh, wherever you want to put the uh, emphasis on which syllable. Yeah, that's uh, true. Denanamab, I think, is is maybe how you say it. Sold under the name of... Uh, Kizunla, <laughs> K I S is K I S U N L A L A, uh, treats early stage Alzheimer's disease. So, uh, I mean, there's so many people these days, my mom had Alzheimer's disease, uh, so many people coming down with Alzheimer's disease. Now it, it's interesting and sad, frankly, but my mother was the first in our, uh, in our friend group back home in our hometown of Collinsville, Illinois, she had it for. I think toward the end of my high school career, she started getting it as we look back on things. She had it for like 20 plus years, uh, which is a long time to have Alzheimer's disease. Uh, she lost her life in 2010. Uh, and now I, more and more of my friend's parents are uh, are finding themselves in that same sad situation. So it's it's such a devastating thing, Alzheimer's disease. So if this drug helps to slow it down, man, I'm all for it. Uh, Eli Lilly came up with that particular drug. All right. Speaking of health related news, what if you need blood quickly and they don't have it in Springfield or maybe Springfield has it and they don't have it elsewhere? A St. Louis based company called Mid America Transplant could be using drones to get blood and other urgent medical needs covered uh, via drone drop off wherever you are. That's pretty crazy. The company is working with the FAA right now to come up with a game plan. Leaders say that it could also help with more speedy organ donation transplants, wow. especially in rural health care. That's fascinating to think about. It's fascinating. That is, is that? fascinating. Well, yeah, you know, it's interesting that drones, It to, by my calculation, and I do live under a rock a little bit, never really took off. I, I mean, you see like video pictures, um, incredible footage a lot. But as far as, I mean, I remember when Walmart was going to be dropping groceries at your door using a drone. I mean, are we actually seeing that these days? Don't think so. Although there may be some areas that have that. Maybe not, some areas. I just widespread. am not convinced that it's widespread. Yes. It's so this is just a maybe right now, but it sounds pretty cool because uh, not that groceries are not critical. Groceries can be critical too. Well, you can, but, most people, yeah, yeah, yeah. I but get most people have some food in a cupboard. Right. Um, this could be a game changer. Well, I'll tell you something. The Jetsons have been promising things for years that still haven't happened. So That's true. Uh, I feel ripped off most of the time. Yep. Most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. Well, that'll do it for us. Uh, we are glad to be back with you. I did enjoy the long weekend, but it feels right at home now to be back and covering the news of the day. So hopefully you have a good one. Yeah. Thanks for uh, joining us, whether you're watching or listening. Stay tuned. We're going to have some weather today, it looks like, from the, uh, the, the remnants of barrel as they come through. So check out Wake Up Weather with Abby Dyer coming up uh, right after this. If you're listening, just give us a little time to do a quick commercial. And Abby's up. And if you're watching on video, then check in with Abby wherever you got this video. And have a great day. See ya. Thank you. It is Ryan here, and I have a question for you. What do you do when you win? Like, are you a fist pumper? A woohooer, a hand clapper, a high fiver. I kind of like the high five, but if you want to hone in on those winning moves, check out Chumba Casino. At chumbacasino.com, choose from hundreds of social casino style games for your chance to redeem serious cash prizes. There are new game releases weekly, plus free daily bonuses. So don't wait. Start having the most fun ever at chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. DTW, void, we prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18. Plus. It's time for Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather, sponsored by Scooters Coffee and Rescue Towing. Here's your host, meteorologist, Abby Dyer.
Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your Monday. It is July 8th, and you are listening to Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather with me, meteorologist Abby Dyer. Thanks so much for listening this morning. I hope everyone had a fantastic holiday weekend, a long weekend. If you were one of the lucky ones, we had some pretty nice weather to enjoy. The humidity really started to sneak back into the forecast, and we had those kind of hit or miss rain showers around. But we continue to see rain chances in the forecast, and that's just the nature of the pattern that we are under right now. Today, no exception. In fact, there's a little bit of rain on the radar this morning, so don't be caught off guard by that on the morning drive handful of showers are going to dot the radar. A couple of thunderstorms are possible too, and at times they could provide some heavy downpours. I don't have severe weather in the forecast today though, just kind of scattered showers and thunderstorms in the future as we head into the afternoon south of I-44 in particular. Overall, we are starting off the work week very active in the Ozarks. We have kind of a stormy start to the week, both today and tomorrow with rain and storm chances in the Ozarks. In fact, tomorrow, what we're actually going to see is remnants of a tropical system from barrel, which uh, is going to mean that a few places in the Ozarks have the potential for heavy rain as we head into the work week forecast. So there really is a lot to talk about as we begin the new work week. Today, because of the rain chances, the additional cloud cover in the forecast, temperatures this morning are very comfortable. We're at about 68 degrees as of 5 a.m. As we move into the afternoon hours, though, I have high temperatures that will land at about 83. It's going to be close to seasonal averages, but perhaps a bit on the cool side. There will be plenty of dry time today, but I also have a chance for showers early on this morning and another chance that develops after 3 p.m. today. I think the afternoon chance looks a little bit better south of I-44. Also southeast of I-44 tomorrow, that's where the best chance for rain is again with remnants of a tropical system that are going to be moving up through our part of the country, maybe kind of skating by the Ozarks for our southern counties could see some heavier downpours. Showers and thunderstorms today, though, with the high is in the mid 80s. We are going to see some cloud cover passing today as well. All the torrential rain today is expected from portions of mid-Arkansas back through East Texas, western Louisiana. There's also a severe threat for folks on the Gulf Coast as Barrel makes landfall and provides severe weather opportunities for Texas and Louisiana. As that storm system becomes a post-tropical system, it's strengthened again with the warm temperatures in the Gulf. Well, it is going to be dumping heavy rainfall through much of the southeastern part of the country. And those are the remnants that I'm talking about from Barrel that arrive here in the Ozarks. It is expected to turn northeast, so we'll be watching that track today and tomorrow. The cone of uncertainty does move through parts of the Ozarks, so the highest chance for heavy rainfall and flooding will be those center to that cone of uncertainty. That is going to be for areas south and east of I-44. I am expecting that we see some torrential downpours, and this area is already saturated. You know we've had several rounds of rain already ready this summer. So we're going to watch for the potential of flooding in the Southern Ozarks. Big heads up for you on Tuesday. Today, I don't think we have much of a problem with that, but that heavy excessive rainfall will be much better of a chance tomorrow. Also through this time period with the rain in the forecast, pretty much today through uh, the middle of the week, we are talking about temperatures that are going to be a little bit below average, which will be a nice change of pace for us. In terms of how much rain we're expecting, I think for the Springfield area, we're talking either side of an inch. It's not going to be an overwhelming amount for us. Higher totals, though, for the south and east, that's also where the higher rain chances are. We're talking places like West Plains, back through Eminence, portions of north central Arkansas. You folks are expecting the heavier downpours, and I think that we have a chance for an inch to an inch and a half here in the Springfield area, close to Rolla. Folks listening from our western counties, maybe out north toward Joplin or Bolivar, the rain chance goes down there with most of the showers missing you folks to the south. Around the country, what everybody's talking about is barrel making landfall on the Texas Gulf Coast. Heavy rain, of course, flooding, 
high, high winds and severe weather are going to be in the forecast today for our friends to the southeast. So we are thinking of them, hoping everyone stays safe. Also, extremely dangerous heat is in the forecast again today for the West Coast and the Great Basin. We are talking about temperatures that make it to like 110 with the actual temperature. So deadly heat possible for the Western coast of the country. We are also going to see some heat and humidity build in for the south and east behind remnants of barrel moving through portions of the country. So a lot going on across the Ozarks and much of the country this week. We are starting off very active. Ugh, how's that for getting back into uh, the swing of things after a holiday weekend? We've got weather to deal with uh, pretty much everywhere in the country. All right, it's time for the Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather Brain Twister trivia question for the day. The question that I left you with last week has to do with the 4th of July. Which American president was born on the 4th of July? Do you think it was A, George Washington, B, Calvin Coolidge, C, Abraham Lincoln, or D, George W. Bush? Well, there is only one. And it was President Calvin Coolidge. So congrats. If B was your answer, you are now entered to win a gift card of 20 bucks to Scooter's Coffee. Uh, It was President Calvin Coolidge. He was uh, the 30th president of the United States. He took the oath of office after the sudden death of Warren Harding in 1923 Uh, Born in Plymouth, Vermont on July 4th, 1872. Very cool to have a president of the United States with a birthday on the 4th of July. By the way, as I was researching this question and developing it, I also came across kind of a fun fact here. Uh, Three founding father presidents, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, and James Monroe all died on July 4th, the Independence Day anniversary. Isn't that bizarre? I just find that so fascinating. Three of the founding fathers um, died on July 4th. But only one was born on July 4th, and that was B, Calvin Coolidge. Here is the answer that I'll, or the question that I'll leave you with for tomorrow morning. Which month typically sees the most hurricanes make landfall in the state of Texas? Do you think it is A, July, B, August, C, September, or D, October. Historically, which month is most active for hurricanes to make landfall in the state of Texas? You can submit your guess. That's over at aroundtheozarks.com. While you're there, make sure you check out the weather tab. You've got the entire forecast covered for you all day long and up to the minute. We've got some scattered rain in the forecast today. Also plenty of dry time with high temperatures in the mid 80s. Not a bad day. A break from the heat and humidity today with heavier downpours on the way tomorrow. Have a fantastic Monday. We'll chat again early tomorrow. It is Ryan here and I have a question for you. What do you do when you win? Like, are you a fist pumper? A woohooer, a hand clapper, a high fiver. I kind of like the high five, but if you want to hone in on those winning moves, check out Chumba Casino. At chumbacasino.com, choose from hundreds of social casino style games for your chance to redeem serious cash prizes. There are new game releases weekly, plus free daily bonuses. So don't wait. Start having the most fun ever at chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. DTW, avoid, we're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus.